For a lot of women, especially mothers, the changes their bodies go through over time can be a lot to handle. Some of it can be embarrassing to talk about, like incontinence. Now, a new device that you can get at the drugstore could be a big help. Here's health editor Dr. Maria Simbra. <coughs> Leaking with coughing or sneezing or exercising, a problem some women may be hesitant to bring up with their doctors. It's not a pleasant thing. <laughs> While it's not life-threatening, the condition can interfere with daily activities. Stress incontinence is mainly when the patients they complain that they are leaking urine when they're coughing, sneezing, or they're doing exercise. No one knows why stress incontinence happens, but having given birth and aging are risk factors. Pelvic floor exercises called Kegels can help, but it can take months of doing them daily before you get results. Surgery can help, but for some people, that might be too extreme. A non-surgical option used since ancient times is a pessary. It's a soft, flexible, removable device placed in the birth canal to support the bladder. But this requires a doctor to fit the patient with the right size. Some women are too embarrassed to seek help. Because of that, doctors at West Virginia University hospitals participated in a study of a new device, available without a prescription. In a multi-center trial, 51 women were given the product to try. It's just like a tampon device that just insert themselves. To prove it was manageable at home, the doctors only told the women to use it. They did not place the device for them. These are products that are not going to be supervised by a provider, so we need to make sure that this is actually a safe device. It's one size fits all. In the study, women said the device was comfortable and stayed in place. And 70 percent had decreased incontinence. In fact, 90 percent wanted to continue using it. Based on this, the FDA cleared the product made by a company in Monroeville. It's sold in drugstores for $35. The kit contains one silicon pessary, which can stay in place for 12 hours each day. It comes with a one-month supply of strings to help with removal. The patients actually show that they were able to do this or replicate what is going to happen in real life. In the study, no one developed an infection called toxic shock syndrome, which can occur with tampons. A few women had scrapes or trouble with insertion. It's not meant for women who have dropped organs. I can just discuss with my patients that there is an option out there that is not surgical. But would most women use it? If it was that serious, yeah, I would definitely pick it up. No, I wouldn't be comfortable doing that. The women who are embarrassed to right. talk to their doc, it's a privacy thing. They probably should still see a doctor. I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA News.